In the studio, we have our, our studio guests, uh, Sarah and Lily from Bristol Maritime Academy. That sounds very glorious, and we've been hyping you up all show um, as potentially going around the globe on super yachts. But bring us back down to reality. What is it that you guys do? So we are a training provider who can help you kickstart your career working on super yachts. So if you like the idea of working for the rich and famous on, on a super yacht in San Tropez, then you need a certain set of qualifications in order to do so. And we're the only training provider in Bristol who can help you do that. And Sounds what is the... It's got a very... I'm, I, have, <laughs> I have done my research and I know that it has a really annoying title. What is it, What is it, Sarah? It's the STCW 95 and 2010. Just natural. Which, rolls yeah, off the top. It's super what? easy. It's, um, it's a basic safety certificate and it's compulsory for anyone who wants to work on a vessel over 24 metres um, in length. So um, you say that people <laughs> go off and work on yachts in, in places like saint -Tropez. Have you ever had any sort of stories where people have worked on yachts come back to you saying, I was working with Leonardo DiCaprio last week? Or... We have, we're yeah. just not allowed to tell you. Oh, <laughs> it's exclusive, but people have worked with celebrities. Okay, well, you, you train people and yeah. you get people their qualifications to be able to go and work on these yachts. Yeah, um, right. So you've actually brought a bit of a quick with you. Yeah, um, so it's um, basically the um, basic safety certificate, it's a six day course and in there there's firefighting, there's personal survival techniques, there's first aid, there's security awareness, so it's a whole bunch of different things. And um, so in the, we've brought a, a couple of different life-saving equipment devices today right. <laughs> um, that are kind of used in the sort of personal survival techniques. So you've got a life jacket here. So um, this, which, this, no, this no. has come on very, very far actually because um, when, when I used to work on the water, shall we say, life jackets were huge and orange, big bulky things. This they is still very, are. Okay. Is this a special? This is, this is just a type of life jacket. Oh, yeah. and there are numerous types, but they all work the same way. And Go on, Charles. kind of fit okay. the same way. Shall I attempt to put that on? And, uh, Trip down I believe you have a bit of experience uh, wearing life jackets, uh, so I'm sure you can so, share. So, Lily, yeah. what kind of things do you help... Uh, training people in what do you what do you actually do training people wise um so myself i teach people um how to drive powerboats okay. um which can be a big part of working in the super yacht industry because you might want to drive the tenders for the owners you take can't them to just beaches, pull your yacht take them up. To snorkel yeah. <laughs> exactly so um i give people their powerboat licenses um and i just make sure all my staff are doing the right things well um i think i put this on correctly um so I, I used to i did used to work on a cruise ship which is why I, I know how to put a life jacket on so so I think I've I've done a good job here. Is that right? It's all right. It's a bit loose. But, you know, okay. So we'll right. tighten that later. So I'm safe on the water. But um, what's in this big bag? Can we get it out? I think it's a big bodysuit. Some sort of bodysuit. Is that right? So it's called an emergency suit. Okay. So I if think you uh, if you were having to abandon ship. Um, yeah, get we, it out, get it out. Yeah, whack it out. We've not got long left and we want to see Edward in one of these big oh, dory suits. Right, fine. I will, I will get prepared to get <laughs> right, dressed. Edward. So is there a specific amount of time that you should be able to put one of... It's really heavy. I can't even lift in it In theory, up. it should be uh, oh, a minute Ed's 30. Oh, himself, he's okay. out. One minute right. 30. Okay, one minute 30. Ed, the record is put. 47 seconds. Yeah, Lily, okay. Lily set a Bristol Maritime record today. You've only got 30 today. seconds before we go, Ed, so we're counting now. <laughs> You've, got, you've, you've done about five seconds. Keep it going. Keep it going. Is he doing well? He's doing it right. He's doing it in the yeah, right okay. order. Like 20 seconds, pearl. Ed. 20 <laughs> seconds. Come on. Come on. You look like a giant fish. Come on. <laughs> got it. You've got to get an arm in. You've got to get an arm in. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. <laughs> you know, it's about. Come and sit down, Ed. Let everyone see you. <laughs> now, there you go. You did it um, not in time, but you look like a giant Nemo. Um, so this is, what is this, a life-saving? An emergency. So it will, it will keep you warm uh, okay. if you're in the water well, for a long period of time. Thank you very much for coming in. Me and Ed are now... Um,